This morning, transgender woman Leah Thomas is closer to competing in the National Swimming and Diving Championships. Her school, the University of Pennsylvania, has announced it will work to support her after the NCAA this week announced new rules for transgender athletes. The NCAA's new policy, effective immediately, will be a sport-by-sport -sport approach that balances fairness, inclusion, and safety for all who compete. The eligibility of trans athletes will now be determined by each sport's national governing body and will then be reviewed by the NCAA. Chris Mosier, the first openly transgender do athlete and triathlete on Team USA, is critical of the change, saying the new rules are not inclusive. I'm really worried about the, the transgender and non-binary young people who are seeing this policy, who are wondering if it's possible for them to be their authentic selves and continue to play the sports that they love. But since 2020, 10 states have enacted laws restricting the participation of transgender athletes in sports at nearly all levels. Caitlyn Jenner, a transgender woman and former Olympic gold medalist, says the competition is simply not fair. She points to Thomas often beating other female swimmers by two whole laps. Her cardiovascular system is bigger. Her respiratory system is bigger. Um, her hands are bigger. She can swim faster. That's a known. Thomas first participated on UPenn's men's team, but began competing with the women's swimming team after transitioning. Struggling to be anywhere close to where I was. I have to like readjust my goals. Now competing in the women's team, she's become one of the top freestyle swimmers in the country. The NCAA's new policy is in line with the U.S. Olympic Committee's. The previous policy was based on hormone therapy requirements. Andrew, Faith. Andrea, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.